Hey, Mark, it's Mark Gilbertson here. I'll just walk you through sort of where we are with the Future Lab right now. Sorry to recycle a, a PowerPoint, but I think it, uh, it'll it work okay for us uh, here. So, um, so uh, yeah, so uh, one of the visions we're using is this image right here, before us now, beyond the trees and over the mountains. Certainly feels like we're sort of uh, um, building the plane uh, as we're flying it along the way here, but it's good to know where we came from. So a couple of years ago, uh, when we were approved to start putting future labs together, we were going to use a program called Creative Learning Systems, which would have been just sort of a turnkey solution uh, to uh, to look at uh, at a future lab. And, uh, you know, the goal of the future lab was uh, sort of the, uh, the, the integration of creativity and innovation and development of uh, maker capacities. And since then, it's, uh, it's changed. Um, that program was uh, rejected by uh, by uh, uh, our, our corporate uh, uh, leadership. And so um, we uh, since then have been uh, having to kind of create our own sort of uh, future lab, um, which uh, so we sort of have this mentality of an all inclusive sort of like almost like an extras like band or music, um, but uh, we're creating itself so kids would eventually have that experience uh, baked into their curriculum. Uh, so that's where we're at. Um, Let's see, um, moving right along, uh, we've got our students there. Sorry about this. Um, here's a couple of views of where our future labs are at. So um, our largest school is uh, Daron Hills School, elementary school. Um, and uh, so that's kind of that's kind of the biggest uh, the biggest one, I think it's got about 1,200 students right now, and they've got uh, lots of great maker space. This is a giant room. They've got three giant rooms like this. Uh, well provisioned uh, with uh, I think 3D printers and some laser cutters and uh, some maker uh, carts and lots of materials in there too. So uh, they've really put some nice time and energy into there and they have started actually teaching the Future Lab course. So uh, Greg and Jim will be joining us and they're Future Lab teachers and Catherine won't be, but she'll be in uh, one of the elementary school groups too. On the opposite side of the things, our biggest middle school hasn't really started. Their ordering didn't go through smoothly so they are still identifying some spaces and uh, that's the Daron Middle School. Um, and uh, one of our site schools, RTES, has identified a space, has some materials. This is a much smaller school, about 400 kids uh, in the elementary school uh, there as well. And so they're just starting to kind of build theirs out with a plan. Um, the middle school at Ras Tanura uh, right now has some space and some experience. They've had some kids rotating through a future lab like class, and uh, they're really excited to kind of move forward and also incorporate some library stuff in there. And uh, for RTMS, both Christina and Mike Myers, who are two of the leaders there, will be joining us. Uh, in Abcake, Abcake has a couple of Future Lab uh, leaders. Uh, Catherine will be joining us. And uh, Zion is the other one you see pictured here. And um, they've got a great space in the library. And Zion's a great robotics instructor in the uh, middle school science teacher. Uh, Tom Whitaker uh, is our tech facilitator there too. So they've had a lot of experience with uh, Legos and they've also uh, had a fantastic makerspace type area in the in the library with sewing and uh, printing, 3D printing and laser cutting. And they've got a couple of crickets in there too. And uh, that library space has really done a great job with that. So uh, the Future Lab is definitely part of our strategic plan moving uh, forward. Uh, and part of our uh, creativity and uh, innovation, our, uh, our creativity strategic plan, which is a key part, one of our third, three big uh, sort of focus areas is the culture of, uh, of creativity. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of where we are at, and sort of um, we've got uh, a couple of uh, a steering committee in place for creativity and innovation that'll help kind of kind of do some stuff like that, but they haven't met yet, uh, so. That's kind of where we're at. And uh, this is kind of the whole big future uh, plan for this. So, you know, uh, before us now, we've got to develop sort of some curriculum, some themes and rhythm. We don't want it to be like a, a static curriculum, like a like a math curriculum or a English curriculum. We'd like it to be more of a sort of, a, you know, guidelines and sort of a, a way to provide some really cool stuff for kids to, to do and learn with and play with. Um, then we want to kind of make that more mature over the next couple of years. So the future lab classes actually happen at every every school. And uh, then over the mountains is so that those are embedded within our, and like I said before, baked into our, our, our experience here. So 
that's really where we're at with the Future Lab right now. We've collected a bunch of resources and we are ready to, uh, to move forward. Really excited about, uh, about this experience. So thanks so much and hopefully that wasn't too much information.